bodacious. It's an attitude. Good gracious, bodacious. They call him the master of disaster. Bodacious. He'll turn your sweat to ice. This is one blonde that can't be mastered. This blonde bucks and bucks and just keeps on bucking. Bodacious. He may be the greatest athlete on earth until the human challenge. Hundreds have tried, nobody's died, but a lot of tea, hide, and blood. Hey, it still flies. When this ton of yellow whales sights you in, it's the bullseye. He hits every time. He slices, he dices, smashes, crashes, makes him the intimidator, the eliminator, the body masher of the moment. Stick around or hit the ground. It might be your best friend. Get back, Jack, or take the whack. From Bodacious. Bo, he is an intimidator, and uh, he was something that I think a lot of stock contractors would like to have. He was a type of bull that you can in intimidate the bull riders with. Uh, yeah, they all respected him, but I think a lot of them would say, man, we're going to have a flat tire and we don't have a spare, so we can't go and get on him. That Jim Sharp is quite likely to kick him with both feet. John, raise a man now. Right here. Sit up, sit up. You find, you find. What time? Ooh, man. Ooh, man. Ooh, man. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. What in the world have we done tonight? Sam. He's looking. Did you see that get off? Did he make it? No. Hey, we have been saluting great champions in our game all night long. What do you say we do one more? Ladies and gentlemen, I am looking at Jim Jacobson's watch. Seven and four tenths, six tenths of a second, too short. Champion Greg Slosser. I didn't yes, think that is. looked like. Yep. This is a guy that went into retirement for a few years and then cracked back out this year, went to Canadian rodeos, went to Canadian finals, and win it. So here he is. And uh, I watched this kid win the Canadian finals maybe four or five years ago yep. before he retired. This guy is talented. I'm really glad he'd see him on the circuit. 80. What the hell, it is an 81 score, and no wonder they got excited here. An 81 for Slusher's ride. Wildcat. Let's see what the whale can do when he gets on the beach. Now, Peterman, I know exactly what oh, his game plan is. Well, if this bull bucks anywhere close to what yep. he did at Denver, I don't know whether God can ride this bull. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, you're watching God get on him right now. Yeah, I was just going to say, this is, uh, it, Tuff didn't get along very good with this bull at, uh, at Tampa when he had him, but hey, make it work. Tuff has a good work. Come back on the right bull. He's got him back. He's got him back. He's got him back. He's got him back. Oh, man. Yes, 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 yes. Give him a hundred. Why can't it be the perfect drive? Oh, they're going to have 
goes on to beat that ride. I don't care what you can run under anybody. Terry Don West, you've got your hammer cocked, but I think you might have brought the wrong hammer to California. Oh, this is pure power against power right here. Look at the rare and kick and drop on this ball. Look at this. Look at this. that front end. Five point from perfection. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in Long Beach and it's not over. Terry Don's going to come back to try to beat him at 95 points. Three times the champion of the world. And he is the tough enough winner for 10,000 tonight. The heat of us always bull rider. When you match the greatest bull and one of the greatest bull riders of all times at the greatest rodeo in the Houston Astrodome, Terry Don West and Bodacious are the match. 60,000 people, $60,000, eight seconds in a challenge. There is no way in the world to predict what can or will happen right here. That's the whack. Now, what I want you to see is that when you take 1,850 pounds of force and a man who now runs to the side to decide whether to live or die, watch what happens. It's power, it's pressure. And here, the intimidation of what this bull has done, is doing, and will do, brings a man's body to the back of this left horn. Right there, a broken collarbone, six broken ribs, hits the ground, and he still has the strength to get up and run. What does Bodacious do? Well, he goes to the pen. It's time for the grain, but here is what pain is all about. Can you perform hurt? Not when you're hurt this bad. Bodacious, Terry Don West, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, and another match is made. This will keep the Justin Sports Medicine team and the paramedics standing closer than close when they say stand close by. Vegas, thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, in shoe number four, Tough Hedeman. Tough Hedeman. And a bull yes. called Dodge Bodacious. tip his hat to that bull. Of Sammy Andrews. What you have just seen happen is one of the smartest things I've ever seen a human being do. That is the bull that hurt this young man so bad. Just a few days ago, he had to make the attempt of getting over him and on him. I want you to tell Tough Hedeman you approve. You approve of that. Yep. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this around this arena. We Thanks. need him alive. We need him alive and well. Tuffy! Right. Retirement, huh? Don't I get to vote on this? Don't I have any say in this? Whose government decision was this? My name's Bodacious and I buck for a living. Well, I'll tell you what. If that's the way you want it, I could actually use a little vacation off the road. The girls at the ranch said, I ain't been around enough lately anyhow. But while I'm gone, I want you to know that I'm gonna be reproducing myself and my own image as fast as I can. And when the baby bows come back, boys, you better load both barrels. My goal is to have one more animal at the national finals than I had the year before. My ultimate goal would be to have 15 bulls there and put on a performance, but that'll never happen. But still, you have to have goals in life, I think, to be a success. And uh, our other one is that anybody that buys a ticket, whether it's to the Houston Rodeo or to our ro Littlest Rodeo at Longview, Texas, that they were entertained and that they got their money's worth. And that's one thing that Bodacious added to our rodeo company. When he was there and he performed, everybody certainly thought they got their money's worth. Bodacious. You know, in his environment, he's as gentle as a puppy. When he's pinned with his partners or out on the ranch breeding cows for the future little bows of the world. But his record of 135 outs and seven men who have covered him and the wins that they've attained make him just as much a winner in any case. However, for the sanity of moms and wives and girlfriends, knowing that he's been forced into retirement, they can have a little sigh of relief, at least for the moment. He's a legend in his own time, like Secretariat at the Derby, like the great Bambino, 
Babe Ruth at the ballpark, Bodacious at the shoot, the golden legacy. Fact, do me a favor, everybody quit grinding your teeth. Everybody think positive. For those of you yes. that are believers, you know where your heart is. We are going to optimistically live through this with this young Montana rancher. Aren't we, folks? Aren't we, folks? Champion Ty Murray, we need to get him some points in this event. This is Bodacious from Sammy Andrews. Hey, hey, hey. Still the hero of the bride. Well, Rodeo producers, you can be pretty happy with what you've done here tonight. Now, we've got the bulls, they're reloading. Here's Jerome Davis. Archdale, North Carolina School, and his bodacious. This particular ball here, whoa. They have also been in the zeros. They on are him. in the zeros now. That big yellow bull's got a 95% buck off ratio. The all-time great bodacious. Well, they started out with the toughest bull in America. They want to get the psychological yeah. advantage on them. I don't, I don't, I don't. Oh, this bull is bad. He'll snort your shorts and leave a stain for a month. The unrideable yellow bull, the unrideable from Sammy Andrews. Not only is this bad bull one of the baddest in the world, he's one of the baddest of all time. He has a little bit of a hop skip. He's got a timing factor along with that high jump and that look at the kick on that thing. When he, oh. This bull's got more moves than a chicken full of X-Lax. I guarantee you on any Saturday night, any place in America, he is going to snort somebody to the wind. Look at the power, look at the muscle, look at the roll, look at the jump and the wiggle. Look how he runs Drome off that rope and just jams him over his hand. That hurts. I'll tell you what, any boy's mama that finds out that her son drew this bull, and you know what, I don't think he's mean. Tough Hedeman says this is the rankest bull in the world. Let's see what you can do, Tough Hedeman, it's gold! Oh, 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 you can ride him. He slapped the bull twice. He knows he was in trouble, and he'd be the first man to admit it, but I don't like to see him down on the ground like this. You won't get him to holler calf rope very often, I promise you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the greatest, the greatest, the hottest, the hottest from Florida. Three time the champion of the world, Tuff Edelman, is about to make one of the greatest bull riding attempts in the history of the industry. This bull, so big, so bad, at the end of the first jump, when it bows him over, he knows he is dead meat if he gets him again. Now remember, bodacious, it's the height, it's the power, but Tuff Edelman can prove out over the rope, if you're gonna ride him, this has to be the style. The free hand rule of slapping the bull makes all of the difference, and that will cost you. But inside, outside, upside, down, any direction you try, he is the unrideable force in the industry today. But this man, if anybody, can make the hundred point ride on this bull, tough and bold. Watch this. Yeah, no, Cody, oh man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry he didn't get to ride him farther. I wanted to see this bull perform. Cody just took a whacking in the face. Close the gate, my mama raised one fool and he's back home on the farm. I'm over here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now you can relax. I don't want to oversell this bull, but he is something you can overrate. Take a look at this. You'll notice that he wears a protective vest. That doesn't help the bottom of your pants. But here today, this vest may and has already what I think saved a half a dozen lives in this arena. When you hit on your butt that hard, you can break your neck. Now he only weighs 145 pounds. Yes. He has his day. Jim's going to have to get stronger towards the end to make it work. Oh. 
Well, I mean, the bull did blow him out of there. Now, you, you have to wonder how much psychological effect the record of this bull had. And did, did you see the way those, those bullfighters are in there? It's sheer strength, but that bull has bucked off the best cowboys in the entire world more quickly than any bull I've ever seen in the history. Look how fast this happens. Boom, rope is gone. Yep, it pulled the rope right out of his hand. He's, he's had a jump and a half and he bucked him off. He's bucked Clint Bronger off that way. He's bucked Dax Lackey off that way. He's bucked Jerome Davis off that way. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. You're right. Now, now look at it again and look closely at Jim's riding hand. Watch his riding hand. Now, we've talked about getting out position, but when your hand comes out of that, see him blow it right out of there, took it right there. Now watch. Watch Lloyd catch him. Look at the timing. You see Jim is vulnerable right there. He is vulnerable. There comes catch him between the bull and the man. That is what it's all about. We will and do have a champion for $10,000. Get him out, Bodacious. Well, here's how it worked. Oh, 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 oh. It started at Phoenix and it hadn't got any better. Oh, Let's you don't want to take a deep bolt on this bull. Too much power there. Oh, out. Well, 17 years old, first in the first round. We got him in the second round, and it's not going to work in the third round. That yellow bull has bucked a lot of guys off. There's one of the three, four top five rankest bulls in America today. You know, it amazed me. This kid's 17 years old. The last thing I'd want is my 17-year-old son getting on the baddest bull in captivity. Look forward to it. He said, yeah, I can't wait to get on him. Yeah. But a little too much power for a 17-year-old here. Got a good seat on him right there. Look at too deep a hole. Jerks the rope out of his hand. Otherwise, he had a pretty damn good seat, you yes. know what? Bull riding fans, let me talk to you about intimidation. Now watch what happens. Not only has this bull bodacious in his years intimidated, eliminated, but he has built a factor in the mind of so many young men who are not seated yet in their career that he cannot be rode. That's not the way it is. This bull can be rode. It's the style. He has basically the same day every day. It's up, it's down. They say that he throws his head back, that he'll hit you in the face. Watch closely. That's not the way it is. This bull flat bucks when he jumps, he's up so high, hits so hard, he has to come up again. Does he hurt you? Yes, if he wants to. Not only the baddest bull going today, but maybe one of the top five bad bulls of all time. Yatta, hey, come on, let's ride a bull right here. Dupree's out the going to get ready. Your man is about to come alive and ride the yellow Oh, man. One jump. He that threw him off like a dirty shirt in the corner. I mean, did cream him right there. Well, he don't have to feel bad. He's just joined in a lot of other great bull riders that hit the same place. I guarantee you what, that buried that. He buried his Tommy Hawk one jump too soon. Watch here. Look, Look at the that blow. Blow out of there. Look at the go. Who? Ouch. I mean, crossed his legs over his riding hand. I have never seen that happen in 30 years. Oh. Uh, Right here, I think the big deal is he drops his arm right here. See, that leads you away from your yep. hips. See how you slide back? You cannot lead away from that hand. Because the posting, to get a by rank bull like this, you've got to get out over that hump. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is six. This was the bull of the finals last year. That's almost comparable to the rankest bull in the world. He was in there with the best. He bucked them all off. He bucked Jim Sharp off. He bucked... And, but this bull should sit there and on if he gets tapped with it. He's got to get over that front end and get away from that power. Oh, oh man. Hedeman's on the ground. Terry Don West is on the ground. Now, we're talking about six and two. Terry Don is gone. The Tough Enough Award is still wide open. This does not change the average of the 92, 93%. No, idea. sir. If we could get an instant replay of that, I would like to show you what power is all about in the bull riding. Look at here, we got 2,200 pounds of bull going straight up, and look at this, watch here, watch him come up, stop that bull right there, oh man, look at there. He's got Off no the, place to go. Nowhere to go. Nowhere Just to go. Too much power there, that bull is, he's whipped him sharp down, tough Edelman down three times, this is one of the premier bulls in the world. Well, you can call him a brush popper or a breast popper, and that's what happened right there. Ripped his head off. Watch when this bull blows, look at him oh, leap. Look, look at, at him leap. He's got him a foot off the rope the first jump. 
slides him on the side. He doesn't get that post that he needs. He gets a little out of time. And then look at here. When you slide back to the rumble seat on something like that, That's like it. you say, there's nowhere to go. Bob. Gonna rip the W's off your pocket. There goes the Roper shirt. Lois and Clark, I hope you're watching this show tonight. Lois and Clark, because Superman can't ride that. That's like he is 10th length. Could this win it for $10,000? We talked about the psychological effect. Yes. If we can look at back at that, I want to show you something right here. And this is where the battle come in. As Larry Mann used to say, the battle's not with the animal, it's with the weakness in the self. Now watch right here as this bull jumps and kicks out of there. Watch where Dax Lackey looks as he hits yes. right up here. Where look you where, look where's he looking? where you hit. See where he's looking out of there. He's still right in the middle of the bull, but he looks out. That bull had him psychologically whipped before he ever left the shoot. I want to say this about Dax Lackey, however, and Gary LaFue is not doing this with vengeance. He's not talking about nope. him as a weak-hearted young man. But ladies and gentlemen, the psychological effect of 1,800 pounds, a humpback, loose-skinned, bellerin beast will beat your butt, and that's just what happened. That they can do. If there is going to be some 90s, we're going to see them tonight, and this will be one of the one of the ones to start it off. Oh yeah, bull of the no. finals right here. That means he was the rankest bull in the world last year at the national finals, and just a little too much bull for the rookie right there. It's all right, Barry. Don't you quit, son. He rode his second round bull as good as anybody could, and you're going to get to see more of Barry Gillow on the Bull Riders Only Tour. And not if we don't do it in '93. He'll be back in '94 when we get big nation nationwide with competition. Okay. Right. Look at the, look at the rare and drop of this bull. This is where power comes in. As he comes up, Barry's just way too far back off that rope, and then he get, comes up there and puts the power to him. That bull, Sammy Andrews told me tonight, no one's come to get on him since the 4th of July. They're that scared of him. Can you understand why that big yellow whale? <laughs> Riders only series, so this guy is due to Loveland, Colorado, here's your oh, chance. No that's... way. Now that has nothing to do with the broken leg. This old bull, look out. He wanted out of here. He just took the flop in him, didn't he? Yeah, anytime you get it, that is the hardest move. That is the move that throw Tough Edelman off of Wichita last week, that belly roll. Whenever you get a bull that kicks that high and then throws a belly roll into boot, that is the hardest to get by. Watch here as this bull comes and then watch this. Whoa, whoa, watch this drop. Now watch him roll. See, that roll just drops him right into his hand. Doesn't have a shot. That bull gave him three moves, three <laughs> moves in one jump. Let's look at it from the Bailey camera now. Look at this. Oh, no way. No way in the world he could get away from him. Lloyd tried to take the bull right here, but he wasn't going to take the take. <laughs> he wanted ability to ride rank bulls. If he's ever going to step to the front, show what he's made of. This is his chance. Scotty, Scotty, oh, sit up. Scott, go on, Come on Rich, kid. Yes, 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 yes. Tell me that he's there. Come on, judges. Tell me that he's there. The Yellow Bull Bucks again. Gary, I'm going to have to talk about something that the Charlotte Breeders in America, North America, may not like this. But the Bulls into the rank, as they seem to be today, are the Charlotte Crosses. No score for Scott Reddy. Montana, you're out of there. We're out of here, but we're going to come back. We got the Wolf Pop. We got the Brazilian and Brent Thurman. If you ain't got your hammer, yep. Yeah. I'm telling you what, that old bull has done it to everybody trying to get on him. A little consolation, go ahead for the Kansas man. That's a lot of power, old Dodge. Starting with Aaron Seamus on the Buck and Bull of the Year, Dodge Bodacious. Seamus, Auburn, California. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Sammy Andrews, award-winning Bucking Bull of the Year. Dodge Bodacious.
Thank you.